Well, you know, the number one New Year's resolution every year is to do what? Lose weight, yeah. right? 38% of Americans vow to stick to the latest diet craze, but will they? Our next guest, author of Why Diets Are Failing Us, explains exactly why most diets don't work. Please welcome Peter Greenlaw. Hi, Peter. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. Okay, so I have been dying to get you in this seat to ask you, why do you think diets don't work? Well, they don't. I mean, according to the NIH, 98% of all diets fail. You've got a $50 billion industry that fails 98% of the time. What a great business, right? But the basic reason is that the whole concept of dieting, which is based on reducing calories, is the most illogical thing that ever existed. What no one has ever talked about is the nutritional density of the calorie. So instead of counting calories, we should be making every calorie count. And what happens when you... Uh, go on a diet and you lower calories, the yeah. thing that we're not taking into account is we're also lowering the nutritional density. We're starving ourselves to death when we go on a diet. The body goes into starvation mode and it stores fat. The exact opposite of what you Even if you're uh, eating, because I'm uh, on a diet right now, and <laughs> I'm reducing my calories, and but I'm eating salads and, and vegetables Great. and proteins. Like Let me know how that turns out. Okay, let's take a bowl of skin. <laughs> Okay, w watch this. A bowl of spinach, 1952, UCLA did a study that okay. in order to equal the nutrition of one bowl of spinach from 1952, today you've got to eat 42 bowls of spinach. Why? Because the, nutri the nutrition in our soil has been destroyed by herbicides and pesticides and over farming. In mean, 1930, we produced about 40 bushels to the acre. Now we're doing 200 bushels to the acre. Okay. And what's happening is the soil is so broken down that the plants aren't absorbing any nutrients. You notice I'm holding an orange here, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your grandmother could have eaten this orange. Today, all of us, and I love oranges, have to eat nine oranges to equal the nutrition that our grandparents got from one orange. An apple from 1976, they estimate today you got to eat between 6 and 12 apples to equal the nutrition of one apple. Apple. So by you reducing your calories, you're putting your body in a state of starvation. Wow. That's so why people what, overeat so much. What about organic farming? Does that change at all? Uh, 202 studies last year, USA Today, proved that organic nutritionally is no different than regular food. Less pesticides and herbicides, but absolutely no difference. So the very thing that you're doing, and yeah. you may lose some weight, the one thing you're losing for sure is muscle mass. Oh. Mm. Because in but even if I'm in the gym building muscle? You're not building and muscle. And I'm drinking you don't, protein right afterwards? You don't have the nutrients, okay? And and the thing is that in all these diets, the thing that the doctors warn against, and I'm on, on board, don't lose more than a pound a week on a diet because you're losing lean muscle mass. The idea is to infuse the body with massive amounts of nutrients in the fewest calories possible. Okay, be specific on what nutrients are. How do we get them? Okay, well, the thing that we're missing the most are basically a huge component of the periodic table, which makes up nature, okay? So you've all heard of iron and calcium and magnesium, but there's these trace elements, things like gold and silver and copper and zinc and molybdenum and uh, boron and uh, beryllium and even arsenic in tiny, tiny quantities that the human body needs in order to perform its functions. Well, we've destroyed those in the soils. As a matter of fact, a report to the U.S. Senate said 99% of the American people are deficient in these minerals and any one of those can result in disease and that report was done in 1936. Mm. Okay. So how do we get them then? Well you have to go and find sources of these minerals. You need about 70 and the best organic you're getting 10 to 12. Go ahead. So you're saying that we are counting calories so much that now we're not getting enough nutrients and our body goes into starvation mode. Absolutely. What does starvation mode mean for our bodies? Well, basically it's called ketosis. And in simple layman's terms, what it means is that the body will begin to stop burning fat and store it because we're in starvation. The body's in, in panic mode, basically. So it doesn't matter how much exercise you do. No. It doesn't matter how well you... No, that can actually make it worse because now you're eating food with no nutrition in it and what happens is the body gets to a choice point. It only has three things that can burn. Sugar, muscle, and fat. So what happens when you get in this depleted state, and that's why the doctors say don't lose more than a pound a week on a diet, because now you're going to begin to burn muscle mass, okay? Okay, so what do you say to those people? Okay, like, G, I'm just going to use it yeah. for example. She's lost a lot of weight mm -hmm. by just cutting her calories and exercising. Mm -hmm. It's well, worked. Well, let me just say this to you. The biggest factor in all of this is toxins. Toxins in the water, air, food, carpet, shampoos, whatever. As we're ingesting these toxins, what the body's doing, even for someone like yourself that's really in great shape, I work with some of the oh, top, tra top trainers in the world, and 
when you when they take MRIs of these people that are in incredible shape around the brain, the kidney, the liver, the pancreas, we see this white halo of this toxic fat. It's called the body's toxic burden. No amount of exercise or diet gets rid of them. And the American Society of Endocrinologists named these fat cells because what the body's doing, the immune system can't deal with toxins. It takes the toxin, stuffs it in a fat cell. No amount of sit-ups, exercise, whatever will get rid of what's going on basically around your liver, etc. The body's trying to protect itself by encapsulating the toxin in fat cells. So any diet you're on, you're not losing any toxins. You could run from here to Gary even on a day like this. So you can lose weight, but you're not losing the toxins. Absolutely not. I think the thing that really worries me is I've spent a great deal of time and effort and money to eat healthy and to eat organic and to eat grass-fed and try to eat local, but you're saying that doesn't really help. Food will never be enough again, period. It's, it's, it's just proven, I mean, over and over. There's not broccoli, Brussels sprouts, spinach. I don't care what the, the nutritional value is just crashing. And the scary part is we're using up the soil in North America 10 times faster than we're replacing it. There are estimates now that within 80 years, we're basically going to be a giant dust bowl because we've so over-farmed and we've so inundated the soil with herbicides and pesticides. And remember, we eat whatever they eat if it's a plant or an animal. That's what you have to guard against. And that's what, nobody's talking about this. They like, lower calories, get rid of your carbs. Okay, that's cool. I love exercise. It's great. But it won't get rid of toxins. How do we get rid well, of the toxins? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to talk about that in the okay. next segment. Right, let's do that. That's a good idea, because I'm hoping that there's a better ending to this, Peter, right now. This I is know very difficult. You all up, right? This is I'm frustrating. I'm with what you're saying. Yeah, so i got a whole bunch more to say. That's right. Peter's going to give us some answers after the break. We'll be right back. Author and health and wellness expert Peter Greenlaw. Now, before the break, you kept us hanging there about uh, how are we going to get nutrients in our body since we can't get it from food alone. You said the body needs about 70 minerals, mm -hmm. and you're only getting 10 of those from food. So, how are we? How can we make up the difference? Well, there are sources that you can get them from. Okay, there's. Um there was a discovery made about 35 years ago, this huge um, open field deposit in Nevada, which had all the minerals. And uh, you can go to a health food store and you can buy mineral supplements. As a matter of fact, most people don't understand. If you take vitamins and you don't take minerals, the only thing you're paying for is expensive urine. Right. A lot of doctors say that your well, body you doesn't... You can't yeah. utilize vitamins without minerals, okay? It's the most overlooked thing. Minerals are called the spark plugs of life. Oh. They are the absolute cofactors for all the enzyme reactions in the human body. But what if you get the multi-pack? Isn't that in there? Vitamins, minerals, and everything? You might have 10. Yeah. So you what? might have 10 or 20, and you need 70. What minerals are essential? Uh, I mean, well, beyond iron and calcium and magnesium, but yeah. uh, like I said before, iron, um, you, you need gold and silver and uh, zinc and copper and beryllium. So and go to the store and get the mineral get, supplement. Get, That's it? That's all we have to do? No, that's not all. That's, well, that's the we start. To do? Well, come on now, Peter, give us the but, information. <laughs> minerals. So, She's so hard. On so on top, I'm not. On I'm top of the minerals, now we still have to eat, so we have to make all these right. calories right. count. Okay, so, so how do we make the calories so count? So let's just start with the basics. Uh, the world's most perfect food is definitely mother's breast milk. Brothers, mother's breast milk is comprised 60% whey protein, 40% milk protein. Okay, oh. the finest whey, the finest protein in the world comes from New Zealand, where they use no herbicides, no pesticides. They're only grass-fed. They don't inject them with antibiotics, and they don't use pasteurization. And now, they don't do any of that anywhere here in the U.S.? Uh, it's, it'd be very hard to find it. Right. We, we use pasteurization by law. We have to pasteurize. But the problem in pasteurization is you, you destroy the very thing in the protein you want, the amino acids, which are the building blocks of life, okay? Also in whey protein, it's very high in an amino acid called cysteine, which allows the body to make what I call, I call toxin hunters that are capable of pulling these toxins apart and making them harmless so they can pass out the kidney and the liver. So this New Zealand whey protein is critical, but even the New Zealand protein lacks the minerals. So you still would add the minerals. In my book, I give you the recipe of what to do. But do we have to use the New Zealand whey protein? If I have some whey protein in my cabinet at home, can I use that no, whey protein? It would probably be undenatured whey protein. It, and when you, when, you un, when you denature, sorry, when it's denatured, meaning it's, it's used high heat, they've pulled the amino acids apart. Your body needs those amino acids to make muscle, for example. That's one of the reasons why people on diets typically they'll get all that loose skin. Because what they're losing is muscle mass, they're not losing the fat they're not building muscle so it's a fundamental part of nature mother's breast milk this 60 percent component of of whey protein and this 40 percent component of milk protein now add the minerals and add one other thing you've all heard of probiotics right which yes. support gut yes. health okay well that's not what you want you want prebiotic fiber what prebiotic fiber does it manufactures the good flora in the gut so instead of taking a supplement to make up for what we don't have it's the body doing it okay so that's the first thing the second thing that's critical that contains these powerful toxin hunters 
use is just the inner heart gel of the aloe vera plant, not the leaf. You'll go in the uh, store and you'll see whole leaf aloe. Now, it's, I'm from Colorado, so you have to be careful when it has whole leaf on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. right. But, but the whole leaf aloe, what happens is they crush up the whole plant. Well, in the inner heart gel of the aloe plant, there's, technically it's called a polysaccharide, which is a toxin hunter capable of pulling the toxin apart. Okay, so what happens is when you grind up the whole plant, there's an enzyme in there that destroys the polysaccharides. Other than that, it's great stuff. So you need just the inner heart gel of the poly of the uh, aloe plant, which is produced with what's called a, a, a high filtration process that doesn't destroy it. Okay. Then you add the minerals also to the aloe vera drink. Now, on top of that, the this is you, all in the drink. It's all in the drink. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. so that's why, again, food will never be enough again. We're talking about, we're not processing here. We're enhancing what Mother Nature gave us, okay? What we're doing is giving back to food what was there 100 million years ago. Let me give you a new definition of food. Although it contains fats, carbs, and proteins, food's job is to carry genetic information to our genes. So when you're feeding your body not all the nutrients, the gene is not getting the complete message. Now, what do you do? The actual protocol. What do you consume? On the, on the, basically, for a week or four or five days when you start, you have a shake from New Zealand for breakfast. Yeah. You eat regular food for lunch, healthy right. food. Okay. Then you have a shake at night. So let's say you do that for four or five days okay. or a week. Okay. Then you do two days of what I call nutritional fasting. Now, this sounds like an oxymoron. Okay. What you're doing is, see, all you have to do to detox is stop eating for four hours. You start detoxing. But as you begin to release the toxins, you have nothing to break them apart. Okay. So what the body does is takes them and stuffs them back in fat cells. So on the two days of nutritional fasting, you basically have four ounces of the aloe vera four times a day, and your body will naturally burn off sugar. Do you feel satisfied? I work with people who weigh 600 pounds that mm. are totally satisfied. I have one guy that lost 387 pounds in 22 months. He has no loose skin. Okay, That guy was not having like tofu for lunch. Wow. Well, you got to check out Peter's book. Mm. It's called Why Diets Are Failing Us. It's available today, and guess what? Everyone one of the audience is going home with Ooh. a copy. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Yeah, All let right. us know how it works out for you. Come on. Uh, we're going to talk to someone who lost nearly 100 pounds working out at a gym designed for the ultimate weight loss success. We'll be right back.